During the time that Jehoiakim is king of Judah, the word of the Lord comes to the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says, Take a scroll and write on it all the words I have spoken to you the last years concerning the people of Israel, Judah and all the other nations. Perhaps when the people of Judah hear about every disaster I plan to inflict on them, they will each turn from their wicked ways. Then I will forgive their wickedness and their sin. Do you see that God doesn't like to punish people? He always warns us. He hopes that we will repent from our sins and ask Him forgiveness. He is ready to do so. So Jeremiah calls Baruch, a scribe. Jeremiah dictates all the words the Lord has spoken to him, and Baruch writes them on the scroll. Then Jeremiah tells Baruch, I am not allowed to go to the Lord's temple, so you go to the house of the Lord and read to the people from the scroll. Maybe the people will pray and confess their sins and repent. Baruch does everything Jeremiah the prophet tells him to do. He goes to the temple. Do you see him in the room? In the room that is in the upper courtyard, at the entrance of the new gate of the temple. There Baruch reads to all the people at the Lord's temple the words of Jeremiah from the scroll. One of the people that are listening to Baruch is Micaiah. When he has heard all the words of the Lord from the scroll, he thinks, but this is what the officials need to know. He goes to the secretary's room in the royal palace where all the officials are sitting. He tells them everything he has heard. The officials say, we need to hear this ourselves. They send someone to Baruch with the message, Bring the scroll from which you have read to the people and come. Baruch goes to the officials with the messenger. He has the scroll in his hand. When he enters the room, the officials say, Sit down, please, and read it to us. So Baruch reads it to them. When the officials hear all the words of the scroll, They look at each other in fear and say to Baruch, We must report all these words to the king. Then they ask Baruch, Tell us, how did you come to write all this? Did Jeremiah dictate it? Yes, Baruch replies. He dictated all these words to me and I wrote them in ink on the scroll. Then the officials say to Baruch, You and Jeremiah, go and hide. Don't let anyone know where you are. The scroll is left in the room of the officials. They go to the king in the courtyard and report everything to him. The king is sitting in his winter apartment, with a fire burning in the fire pot in front of him. When he hears the whole story, He sent someone to get the scroll. While all the officials are standing beside the king, a man reads from the scroll. Whenever he has read three or four columns of the scroll, the king cuts them off with a knife. Doesn't he respect the Lord? Is he not shocked by God's warnings? Do you see what he does? He even throws the papers into the fire pot until the entire scroll is burned. Even though three officials urge the king not to burn the scroll, he doesn't listen to them. He and all his attendants who hear the words of the Lord show no fear or show any sign of repentance. Instead, the king commands to arrest Baruch and Jeremiah. But the Lord has hidden them. Yes, when you serve the Lord, he will take care of you. 
After the king has burned the scroll with all the words of God, the Lord speaks to Jeremiah again. He says, take another scroll and write on it all the words that were on the first scroll. Also tell the king, I will punish him. I will bring on him and on the people of Judah every disaster I pronounced against them, because they have not listened. So Jeremiah takes another scroll and gives it to Baruch. As Jeremiah dictates, Baruch writes on it all the words of the scroll that the king has burnt in the fire. People can never stop God from speaking.